Virgo, let's start with your reading. Today, we are going to look into the energies around you at the moment. And then we will take a look into the events coming up for you in the next few months. Let's start with your main energy. Your first message today is hold your vision. There is something right here that talks about not settling for less. A situation where perhaps at times you have put up with things just because you might have thought that was love, that was happiness. But you now realize that anything that makes you compromise your vision and anything that changes your initial expectations, it's probably not something worth fighting for, Virgo. The moment when you start wondering if you deserve better, you do. And saying yes to things and situations that are just half good, it's saying no to the ones that instead are going to be really good for you, 100%. And so right here, the main message is to hold your vision even when it feels that it's taking you away from what you are looking for. So let's see what this message is about and let's start with your reading. Oh my God, what's going on here, Virgo? There is someone here with this nine of wands, seven of wands, who is very hard to read for you. It feels like you have been getting mixed signals from this person, whether you are with them or maybe just talking and seeing each other from time to time, there is something that you cannot fully understand. And it's making you somewhat confused as to what to expect from the situation overall. For some of you, you are dealing with someone who seems to show up mainly when they want something from you, Virgo. The Six of Pentacles reversed, I really don't like it. It talks about an unbalanced connection. A situation where one of the two is going out of their way to make things happen, to organize things, and to show affection. Whereas the other one often acts very distant, never truly committing to anything. And often they change their energy around you. This nine of uh, wands person, it's someone who is definitely very protective of something and will need to see what that is going to be. But don't get me wrong. At times when they are present, they really seem to connect with you. It does feel special with this two of cups, but some other times instead, you might end up not hearing from this person for days or even spending time together, spending the night together while they are on their phone for the whole time something changes in their tone, in their behavior, and it just, it just doesn't add up for you. Now, knowing you, Virgo, and knowing how much you can sometimes overthink certain situations, I'm already assuming that you might be thinking that this person has someone else or that you might not be enough for them, that something is making them drift away. But we need to regroup here, Virgo, because honestly, if this has resonated with you up to this point, we do need to talk. The only person you need to be good for is yourself, Virgo. And there has to come a time when you finally say enough already, when you hold your vision and you don't compromise it for anything or anyone. You need to understand that there is just so much that you can do. At the end of the day, a relationship or a potential one is made of two people, right? 
And if they are not doing their part, then why are you? Regardless of the fact that maybe this person has a inability to express feelings or perhaps they have a different love language, there must come a time when you realize that at your absolute best, you still will not be enough for the wrong person. And the opposite is true as well. At your worst, you will still be more than enough for the right person. And although that is a simple concept, right? Sometimes when we are in love or infatuated, we tend to forget that, don't we? Now, in the heart of the reading, Seven of Wands, Knight of Swords, Ace of Cups. First of all, it's clear to me, Virgo, with this energy, especially with the Ace of Cups, that your heart is full of love. And I believe that a part of you at this moment in time is truly ready to find that special person, that special connection. You know, you also need to look into the context of this Ace of Cups. We all had a very rough year. A lot of our certainties have fallen down and it's easy to see how at this point coming together and connecting with other people is more important than ever. But one thing is to find the right person and another thing is seeing the right person in the wrong one. From what I see here so far, this feels to me as if you're wanting to see something in them that perhaps isn't there, or at least not at this time. And at the same time, you are failing to see something else, failing to see the truth. And the truth is that, Virgo, you don't need to settle. You don't need breadcrumbs. You don't need to feel as if this is your only opportunity for love. Not at all. That wasn't the case in the past when maybe you thought the same. And it's especially not the case in the present. Why? We'll see in a second. But before we get there, let's talk about opening and closing doors. When you say yes to someone, when you open the door for them, you are closing the door for someone else. Because at times you might think, eh, what is the what is the harm in having fun with this person from time to time? First of all, I don't think that you're looking for fun right now. And second of all, when you focus on them, you're not focusing on someone else who might be much better for you. And we'll see it right here in a second. Now, I see Knight of Swords and Seven of Swords. These are cards that truly talk about determination, having your vision and fighting for it. The Seven of Wands is reminding you, Virgo, that there is nothing wrong in creating boundaries. This is that time. This is the time where you start saying no to everything that just doesn't feel good. It doesn't mean if it's just like, oh, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. I can maybe settle. No, 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 no. Not right now, at least. This is an energy that it's telling you, Virgo, aim high. Dream, dream big right now. Don't settle for less. It's very important right now. With the next few cards, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Page of Swords, and this tower right here. Very important. The person that we were talking about, the one that is good for you, it's not a hypothetical person. This is someone showing up here with a page of swords. Very shy energy. Just right here on the side spying on the rest of the reading. And in a way, that's exactly what's happening here. Someone who has their eyes on you. Who actually really, really likes you. Someone who maybe spends way too much time looking at your pictures, watching videos of you, if you have any online. Someone who adores you no matter what you look like that day, no matter what you wear, no conditions at all. And this is beautiful. This is someone who would feel lucky, the will of fortune, to be able to spend time with you, to do anything with you. Doesn't it sound different from the initial person? And perhaps you have no idea who I'm talking about. Because right now your frequency is only vibrating 
with the people who perhaps are hard to read, even if just subconsciously. You know, sometimes we are guilty of focusing only on the people who come with some sort of mystery, right? I've done that in my past as well, where I would give a lot of attention to the people who maybe played games and not enough attention to the ones who were transparent and who were worthy. And you should know that in order to change that frequency, you need to change your perception and start saying, you know what, you might be charming, you might be beautiful, but beauty fades. And if you make me feel as if I'm just an option to you, then I won't make you my priority anymore. Say it, believe it, Virgo, because it's true. And I see here that you are on your way to change the situation completely. The will of fortune, transformation, something within you. I feel that you have no more patience, you know? You just do not want to waste your time anymore with these situations, with these type of people. And it's good. Sometimes we do need to hit rock bottom in order to truly understand what we need to change. And clearly, here, an opportunity comes up, something that I can already tell you is going to place you on a new path with this Page of Swords person especially, and something that will cause a tower moment with the previous person instead. What is this going to be about? We need to clarify. And so let's do that. Let's see, just out of curiosity, what is really going on with the previous person? Is that someone who's just not capable to love or someone who's having a hard time communicating their feelings? And then let's look into this page of swords instead. Who is someone around you already? Hmm. Let's see if they are going to make a move and how this overall situation is bound to evolve, especially in the next four weeks. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, Virgo, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal 30 minute live reading. This week, I'm also offering the yearly reading. We'll look month by month what you should expect. I send out emails to confirm every Monday morning. Make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading, Virgo. <laughs> the bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the upcoming events is the Hierophant. And honestly, this is a fundamental change from what you have had up to this point. You had someone here who was barely able to commit to a dinner or to something small, let alone to a long-term relationship. And right here with the higher friend instead, we see someone who doesn't have to question if they want to be with you, if they care about you, if they want to even sacrifice certain things for you. It's They already know that they want to do that. Right here, we see someone who's absolutely been attracted to you for longer than you know. And right now, that attraction is developing into real feelings and eventually perhaps into actions as well. Right here, we see something really beautiful coming your way and something that can potentially change the, the, the year ahead for you. So let's see what this is going to be about. But before that, I want to understand where you're coming from and what this person is really about, the nine of wands person. Let's just, out of curiosity, look into their energies and see what they have been hiding, what they really feel and what their intentions might have been, even if they didn't reflect in their actions. So let's clarify the nine of wands and two of cups. What? This, I understand why you are confused in this situation because this person 
is truly showing everything and then the opposite of everything. But there is a specific reason why they do that. First of all, what we see right next to the man.